The JX3P, a six-voice programmable synth, was released by Roland in 1983, the same year they released the Jupiter 6 and just months before the Juno 106. The JX3P was Roland's foray into a preset synth, similar to the Yamaha DX7, where you didn't program much but relied on great sounding presets. In fact, the 3P comes from programmable preset polyphonic. So yes, it was programmable, but it was not a one control per parameter type situation. You had to dive into menus and selectively control parameters with the available slider. Roland did address this issue by releasing the PG200, which was a controller specifically for the GX3P, as well as the MKS30, which was a rack module version of the GX3P. This was also the first synth from Roland to have MIDI, though the MIDI was quite basic and did not even have velocity sensitivity. Now, not many people know of this synth, and you won't find it going for too much in the second-hand market. A lot of people prefer the Juno 106, and because of that, the GX3P is a bit of a hidden gem. Compared to the Juno 106, it has two DCOs, while the Juno just has one. The GX also has the SEP sequencer, which the Juno did not have. The Juno also does not have all the fancy cross-modulation options. So from a sound designer's perspective, the GX3P has a lot of possibilities. But having said that, the Juno 106 still sounds pretty good with that one DCO. Also, the GX3P has a software envelope, while the Juno synths have analog ones. The GX3P was eventually succeeded by the GX8P in 1984, which had two envelopes and surprisingly, all the cross-modulation options were removed. In 1986, Roland released a GX10, which was the last in the line of the GXs, but also the last analog synth from Roland. Okay, so that's a bit about the history and where the GX3P fits in the bigger picture of the Roland synth lineup. Now in 2015, Roland released a GX03 boutique synth, which uses the ACB technology to authentically model and recreate this classic synth in a very compact and modern format. The JX03 module only has a maximum of 4 node polyphony, but the modules can be chained together to achieve higher polyphony. The JX03 can be used as a module or with the optional K20M keyboard module. In the next few tutorials, we will look at all of the controls on the synth, so stay tuned.